Hey everybody, this is Larry with Leading Edge, and this is part three of our three-part series. And right now we're going to create a part that I affectionately call as the gasket. We're going to see several of these gasket style um, drawings over the course of our uh, our programs here, but uh, for right now this is an introduction to it. And basically all a gasket is is what you see on the screen here. I've gone ahead and filleted the edges for our um, our square that we initially did. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a, um, a circular interpolation. We're going to do a G3 circular interpolation from point to point on this. I'm going to step you through it. And then we're going to step through and we're going to do the circle on the, uh, on the outside here. We'll, we'll do the uh, point to point. And then we'll do the uh, circle, which is the large circle. We won't, I won't step you through that because I did that on the previous one, but we're going to combine both of these into a program uh, at the very end and, and you'll be able to see how it all flows together. So the first thing that you're going to see is we're going to start, we have our origin point right here at the CAD origin. Many times, it, it, I want to start you off programming uh, it, or getting you to understand G and M codes by um, hand coding versus jumping right in and doing the, the cam section because with the cam you don't really understand what's going on so by understanding what the g01s and, and the twos and, and, and the threes are then you can move forward and as you're programming say you uh, programmed an error wrong or uh, an offset wrong you'll be able to notice that in the um in your program as you're reading through it so the first thing that we're going to do is this, let's bring up our our notepad here and since we're starting at zero zero, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and add that line here. We're going to start at uh, let's say wrap it down to x zero, y zero, point oh, z one. Well, actually, let's just do uh, point one because we'll pull the cap off before we start this program. Then we're going to go and we're going to say, uh, give us a feed movement down. We don't want to wrap it the, the pen directly into the wood because we want to slowly take it down. Let's say Z minus 0 0.01. Give it 10 thousandths there. It puts a little bit of pressure on the, on the um, pen. And you can see it in the overall. When I do the screenshot, you can see the lines go from thick to thin. Uh, that's because as we put the hardboard in the clamp too, it also buckled a little bit. Um, but we just wanted to make sure, you know, it gets the point across here. So we'll do Z minus 0.1 at a feed rate of, let's do 10. That seems to be working pretty good. Now our first point, we're gonna want our first point to be right here. So that is, I, I dimensioned this because down here actually on the, uh, in the CAD file, there's coordinates that show up. However, they don't show up in the screen capture software. So I dimensioned this so we can actually take the dimensions and plug them in as we go into our notepad. So right here, that is uh, the coordinate would be x.5, y0. So we're going to move. Actually, we want to add that before we go down in z. So let's do our uh, g00, x.5, y0. Now we'll do our feed rate down. And the next line, we're going to say, OK, now we're already touching the ground, or we're touching the work. Let's do G01 and we're going to say X 2.5 because that's our next dimension here. We're going to go 2.5 and we're still at Y0. And I'm going to add these in here. I'm going to put in all of the X, Y, and Z coordinates. As you get moving, you don't, you don't have to put in the coordinates that don't change. But we're going to do that just to um, build up a nice safe practice here. And let's do this at feed rate of 30 inches a minute. We'll hit enter. And now we enter into our first circle. So we have our starting point, which is X 2.5, Y 0. And we have our, our end point is going to be right here, which is 3 by 0.5. So let's go ahead and we'll start defining that first. We'll do G, G3, X3, Y 0.5. Now we have to calculate our I and our J values. So the center of the circle is right here. And that center of the circle is X 2.5, Y 0.5. So if we go to our calculator spreadsheet and we plug in the center of that circle, which is 2.5, 0.5. And we do our starting point, which is 2.5, 0.5. 
2.5 and y of 0, we come up with, oops, sorry about that, we come up with an i of 0 and a j of 0.5. So let's go back to our notepad here and we'll plug that in. i 0 point j 0.5. Now we're going to do another feed rate up to the next the end of the next line which is g01 and we want that next line is right here and it ends at 2.5 and 0.5 no that's wrong it ends at x3 inches y 2.5 i apologize for that i, I didn't, didn't click on it <laughs> so let's go ahead and run that that number in there And we've already put a feed rate in, so we don't need to add another feed rate. It'll actually stay modal. So now we're going to do another circular interpolation. We have a G3, and we're going to start right here. We know our, our starting point is our last movement, and we're going to end right here, which is uh, X2.5, Y3. So let's go ahead and plug that into our spreadsheet here. We have our center point which is 2.5 by 2.5, or 2.5x, 2.5y. We have our end point is 3x and 2.5y, which gives us negative 0.5 and i and 0 and j. So let's go ahead and plug that into our notepad. Hit enter and now we're going to go down to our next point which is uh, x.5 y3 hit enter now we're going to enter in another circle and we're going to end up at x0 y2.5 and we have to figure out our inj so let's go ahead and plug that into our numbers and our, our third circle is at 0 0.5, 2 .5, 0 0.5, center X. And 2.5 in the Y and we're gonna start at 0 0.5 X and three in Y. And that gives us a zero for i and minus 0.5 for j. So we'll go back up to our text file. And now we're going to come back down to our last line here, which ends at 0.5 or zero in the x and 0.5 in y. And now for our last fillet, and that's going to be, uh, we want that to end up at 0.5x, 0y, or y0, and we'll calculate the i and the j here. Since that circle starts at 0.5 and 0.5, we have x is 0. Starting, y is 0.5, and that should give us 0.5 and i, and j of 0. And then from there, let's go ahead and we'll wrap it up. Let's make it a uh, point. C.5 and then we'll go to our X0, Y0. And add an M30 to end our program. Okay, now let's go ahead and save it and we'll run it.
<laughs> All right. Well, I obviously programmed something wrong there. So let's go ahead and see what I did wrong. Okay, so I found what the problem was here. I actually calculated it right and I wrote it down right on my piece of paper. I just, when I programmed it under the, the, um, under the program, I forgot to add a negative here. I added 0.5 and it should be a negative. So we're gonna go ahead and save this and we're gonna go ahead and rerun it. But it's an important lesson to learn. So now that it's saved, let's go back up. We'll go back to our um, Universal G Code Center and we'll resend the program and this time it should be correct. Okay, and our program finished in about 25 seconds, which is what it should have run. Uh, we're not gonna go ahead and add the big circle to it. If you wanna do that, I'd encourage you to go ahead and do that um, and on your own or cut and paste from the last program. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave those below and uh, click like and subscribe. And I hope to see you on the next series.